Hey everyone, it's August 8th, and that means that if today is your birthday, you share with Japanese serial killer Hiroshi Mayui, known as the suicide website murderer, who was responsible for three deaths in 2005. And that is him right up there. Mayui was born in Osaka in 1968, and in later interviews said that as a child he enjoyed reading mystery novels about murders and was fascinated by suffocation. He studied at the Kanazawa Institute of Technology in the mid-80s, but dropped out of school in 1988. In 1995, he was arrested for choking a co-worker, but he was given an out-of-court settlement that resulted in him being fired, but faced no further punishment. In 2001, Mayui was arrested again for assaulting and attempting to asphyxiate two women, and this time received one year in prison and a three-year suspended sentence. After his release in 2002, he choked a junior high school boy, for which he received two years in prison. Up until now, his victims were lucky in that they all survived his attacks. His obsession with suffocation was such that he couldn't become sexually aroused without seeing someone unable to breathe, and upon release from prison in 2005, he began to look for new victims, this time with deadly consequences. Mayui joined a website that hosted a message board for suicidal people to talk to one another, which was somewhat common in Japan at the time. Japan has one of the world's highest suicide rates, and there were many online suicide clubs there in the early 2000s. He made contact with a 25-year-old woman and convinced her to join him in his car, where they were to use a charcoal stove to generate carbon monoxide and end their lives. Mayui, however, suffocated the woman and left her body in the forest. He then used the same tactic to convince a 14-year-old boy to join him, who he tied up and smothered by covering his mouth and nose with his hand, and then did the same to a 21-year-old man. What happened to the good old days when you could trust the people you meet on a suicide website? He filmed his encounters to watch and relive the experience over and over again. When the police looked into the deaths, they discovered all three victims had traded emails with Mayui, so they were able to quickly arrest him and put a stop to his murder spree. When interviewed, he confessed and said, I wanted to watch a face in agony. Referring to the crimes, the judge said, It's brutal, heartless, devilish, and his sexual propensity is deep-rooted and difficult to ameliorate, before sentencing him to death in 2003. But it was in Japanese, so I wonder what the judge actually said that translates to the word ameliorate. Mayui was hanged at Osaka in 2009 on the same day as the execution of another Japanese serial killer, Yukio Yamaji. If this is your birthday, I hope you have a great day. Leave me a comment so I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know somebody whose birthday it is today, send them this video so they can find out all about their birthday twin. And to Hiroshi Mayui, I say, happy birthday, you